Hello everyone, you are welcome to Tolisha's Kitchen today. I'm so happy to have you all here today. Thank you so much to you all my subscribers. Thank you to you all my friends. Thank you for your support. Guys, we are cooking all big begiri. Yes, begiri soup, bean soup. You are just going to love this method. It is so easy and the result is amazing. If you haven't joined Tolisha's Kitchen, please do so today. Remember to subscribe, like and share. God bless you. Guys, that is our black eye beans we'll be using today. We need to peel it. Yes, this is how it will look after peeling. If you want to see how I peel this, that is the link above there. Just click on it. You can see how I did that so easily. So after peeling, pour the beans into your pot. Add your chopped onion into it. And my little trick, I'll be adding this small potash into it. It will soften the beans so so easily now add some water into it i'll be adding just four tablespoons full of palm oil into it because i'll be covering it to get it cooked if you want to cook it without covering you don't need to add oil now you can add it later but now i cook till soft now check let's see how it looks after cooking for almost 45 minutes now let's see it you can easily crush it this is super well done so after that you just need to mash it you can mash it with your spatula you can use your spoon you can also use your blender but i want to get a shaft out of this that is why i'm cooking it in a real traditional way i don't want to use blender for this but the result is going to be amazing so after when it is well softened after done you now need to sieve it you need to sieve it to get the shaft out of it okay so after pouring it into your sieve now, you're sieving it, you have to be shaking it right and left, just like this, you know, to get all the juice out of it. Now add some water just to rinse it. You see, that is what I'll be throwing away. I don't need this. But what you can see in this bowl is the real bean soup. Now pour it back into the pot you'll be using. I'm adding my seasoning cube, salt as well. I'll be adding some pepper. I want it a little bit spicy. Now stir everything thoroughly. Stir together. And now cook for seven to 10 minutes. Just cook it open like this stirring it you know to avoid it from being get burnt and that is the soup i'll be using to serve it with my amala together this one is a way do it is a way do you people call it moloki some people call it moloki i'm eating amala with it and that is my begiri soup <sighs> guys and now to top it with my assorted stew at sorted meat stew so guys remember to subscribe if you have fun thank you so much for watching stay blessed stay safe see you next time bye bye <laughs>